Hello everyone. Um, so this is part two of my journey to keep my inbox at zero. And you can see that actually right now my inbox is at zero. And I'm honestly proud to say that for the last week since doing part one of showing you what I was using to organize my, my inbox to get it at zero or at least very minimal, um, I've been quite successful at keeping it you know, at most under 20, I've never had more than 20 in the last week, but it does, you know, throughout the day of being an educator, it bundles up very, very quickly. So part two, you know, I just didn't go from having 500 plus emails in my inbox to zero in a snap of a finger. I just can't delete things. The problem, that the reason why I had 500 emails was because I couldn't delete. So I want to share what I did. Um, and so in part two, as I went through my emails, which I can't show you now is, Anytime I had an email where I was storing something, I just opened up a tab. And so I've kind of done this here through all these tabs just to give you a sense. I've kind of been doing this the last day or two to give you a sense of what I've been doing. Um, and I use my Gmail, obviously, because that's the, the main problem. And I'm using the part two step for me, which is Wonderlist, which I've made a video before, and I'll, I'll put a link to how I've used it for my day-to-day my -day schedule. But I'll create a new one here, all right? And I'm going to call this today's date. Today is the 19th. All right. And what I'm going to do is when you clean out your email inbox, anything that you're using to store, you just make a tab. And then you delete the email, which is why I have nothing in my inbox. And I'm just going to take these links then. And I'm not even going to read or process them right now because that requires too much thought. It's going to, it's going to slow me down, and I'm going to start doubting what I'm doing. So I'm just going to quickly go through grab all these links that I have and I'm gonna add it to this Wonderlist page on February 19th and I'm using a date and you can see well I'm going too fast here that I have two other dates I've, I've had to do this twice now on February 11th and February 14th and I had to do my my inbox clearing in stages and you can see I've got a lot I've got 54 and this one is 64 and the other which is just absurd but I didn't want to give thought to it the goal was to get the inbox clear and what I found is that now that it's minimal and I haven't kept a bunch of emails in there I have now been able to do a better job of deleting and processing um, all these these links and so what I'm doing now is going through these are all tabs that I opened up based on emails that I got and I'll just do another one here okay and now here is part two I have these tabs down here so February 11th actually has, has come and gone but I'm going to show you what the goal is you have one week to do something with these links and you can see that February 11th I've, I've already failed this but the goal is this this will not exist by the end of today and you could approach this two ways. For me, I'm going to peruse through this and see if there's any that could really stand out going, ooh, I really need to do something with it. And then the others, if I don't click on it or whatever, I'm just going to delete this entire folder. So you've got one week to do something with these links. With the idea being that after seven days, if you haven't clicked on the link and done something with it, it's probably not that important, even though at the time you thought it was very important. And so once you have that, either open it up and you do something with it. In my case, these either lead to one of four locations. It either leads to my website, in which I do a blog post based on what I've been reading. All right. The second thing, it, it leads to my newsletter. I write a newsletter about every two weeks, and it might fit that theme if that's what I'm doing my research on. Three, it might go into my OneNote, in which we have a school OneNote community where we share all our projects and, and teaching ideas, and so I help gather resources for teachers. Well, the fourth, it goes into my Evernote account. I've got some folders there where I keep things for um, a book I'm writing or just some general research that, that, that I'm doing for uh, some personal goals. So it's going to go to one of those four things. If it doesn't make that, then I delete the whole entire folder. So it's really good. And now I know that the 11th, it's on my, my to-do sheet. You can't see that. This is going to be deleted today. Um, I mean, and I got a couple links I know I need to go through, and the rest got to go. And that, that's as simple as that. It keeps your inbox at zero. It's really quite helpful. Once it's there, it's easy to maintain it because you don't get overwhelmed. But go through and just open up all your tabs, every email, and just open them all up 
stick them in the wonder list, and then do you got seven days to do something with it. So that's my second part. That that's what I'm doing. It didn't just didn't happen magically because I'm a hoarder of information, and I hope that helps you. Now, in part three coming up, which I'm going to tackle as soon as I cover these tabs and deal with with, with with the wonder list folders, is to deal with the problem that I had with in, with my inbox all along. You can see over here I've got all these folders of emails. These need to go. I'm still using it in a behind the scenes way for storage. That cannot happen. And the way that you're going to deal with that is by using a really awesome extension called Boomerang, um, which I will show you an example of how you can get important emails to come back but stay out of your inbox. All right, so here's an example of how I used the Boomerang extension for the Gmail account. You can see I already have it installed, and so you can go through that process here. But what I like this is you can call, you can Boomerang it. So here's something that I want to submit for a teacher that's doing an amazing project at our school. I don't want it in my inbox because um, I'm not going to do anything with it yet. I've got too much on my plate. So I'm just going to Boomerang this. You can see that it picked March 6th because that's the due date here when this submission is due for this particular um, opportunity. So you can go down here and you can choose when you want to be reminded. The day or week after, the afternoon of, two hours before, the morning of, the day before. I'm choosing the week before. I'm going to need, to need some time to put this together. So I choose the week before. I hit confirm. Boom. It's gone. And it'll come back a week before March 6th. How awesome is that? And it declutters your Gmail or your inbox, whatever account that you're using. So it's really, really sharp. So there's part two. I hope you find this helpful. Check out part one and wait for part three. It's coming in a few days. If you have other tips, suggestions, ideas, feel free to let me know. We're all in it together to get better, be more productive, and not be so bogged down by internet clutter. Have a great day.